Hi, I'm Jeremy Salo. I'm an adjunct assistant professor at Schoolcraft College. Um, I'm also the president of the Detroit ACM SIGGRAPH chapter. I'm on the board of directors for Michigan Production Alliance, marketing director for Stronghold Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, ambassador for scuba diving aquatic adventures of Michigan. And how can I forget, um, core ability team leader for demonstrate creative and critical thinking at Schoolcraft College. Um, I love getting outdoors and just of being in nature and observing it, but also sharing that with other people. So having a camera uh, as a tool to do that is, is great. And um, it goes hand in hand with what I do for a living as well. And so I'll go out and I'll bring different cameras with me depending on what I want to do. You know, sometimes I'll bring a big long lens if I want to get wildlife more in the distance. Sometimes I'll bring some underwater cameras if I know I'm going to be on the water and there might be something interesting. So I'll go on a walk or kayak and just observe the outdoors and just capture whatever I see there. And then I have that in the can. So meaning I can use it in the future for like TV shows or for whatever. Honestly, most of the stuff just sits on hard drives, but it's still fun to do. Maybe I'll share a couple of them on social media, but um, you know, every once in a while they become useful and it's just, it's just, a, it's just a good experience to be out and um, observe the natural world and share it with people. I like to go out all the time. You know, I have a little dog, Yeti, and I like to walk her. When she'll go anywhere, she's always down to go wherever. So, you know, we usually just go, I go on trails with her or I'll go kayaking. So I, I like to, to get out on the water because um, you got a long view without the trees obstructing your view. And, and I just love the water and being on the water, under the water. And you never know what you're gonna get when you go out there. Um, that's one of the exciting things about it is you gotta be prepared. I always have at least two different cameras, two different types of cameras. Um, and it's just, you go with the flow, whatever you see, you go with it. Um, so yeah, being out on the water, I think would be my favorite place to go. There's a lot of different ways that you can do photography underwater. Um, whether it's still images or video. Um, and you can do anything from just getting a GoPro to, uh, you know, getting a full underwater camera rig to video camera rigs with gate housings. And there's all different sorts of stuff that I've done over the years and so on. It depends on the conditions and where you're at, how cold the water is, you know, how much uh, gear you brought, how much equipment. It really just depends on what you're doing. So for that situation, I wouldn't have as much gear. I wouldn't have the scuba equipment and so on. So I might just have something that has underwater capabilities that's small that you can get in there. And so I understand you won yeah, two awards, come on. <laughs> I got from um, Michigan Nature Association, does a, a contest and I had, um, and I don't remember the exact awards to be honest, but I know they have three categories. One is uh, for, for flora and fauna. So um, I, I got a, an award for one of the top flora and fauna in the state for 2020 and landscape. Um, and, I, and that was my second year winning uh, Best Landscape because I won a couple years earlier for uh, Best Nature Landscape um, in Michigan. And then last year it was uh, people, people in nature. So it was my nephew and he was out with a little magnifying glass and we were by a stream and there was a worm in the mud and he was looking at it. So it was a really cute little picture and the lighting, everything was great. And that was at a nature uh, preserve. Is, you know, so that was uh, that was a cool experience. So I produce your brush with nature, uh, the plein air painting television show with Heiner Hertling, and he goes out and paints nature landscapes um, and you know different wildlife and so on once in a while. Um, but usually it's a lot of things that you can do in a half hour, like landscapes and so on. Um, so we've recorded all over. Uh, a lot of Michigan, but we record it in all the seasons. We record in the snow when it's snowing. We record when it's rain, uh, when there was like storms and stuff coming by uh, on the beach in the summertime, in the springtime, in the fall with different colors. Um, so that's that was a lot of fun. I had this crazy idea once that we should be on a boat during a sunset and he should paint the sunset. Um, and he's like, oh, that's crazy. We can't do that. And then after we did it, you know, uh, when he showed all his painting buddies, they just all loved it. And then that was like his favorite uh, episode from that was season three. And so we're on season five now. 
um, and we're on uh, Amazon where is you can watch it and we have a website um, that I designed and you can subscribe and watch all five seasons so that was pretty cool um, and then like when I, I started doing my scuba diving stuff more or less for fun but then the scuba shop hooked me up with another producer Kim Stricker and then I started doing some photography for hook and look for the outdoor channel um, and that show was about fishing and you know Kim was a bass pro um, you know I mean he beat Kevin Van Dam one year so he you know he was a uh, a pro for 20 30 years or something like that 20 years then he retired from professional bass angling and he's, he's just doing the TV show um, well that was a great experience working on that show and then we went all over on that show too you know Minnesota Florida doing scuba diving and led me to doing underwater camera and working on that other show so you can see like how being diverse and different skill sets and different types of photography add from one thing to another um, and it's and it's also cool because I love the outdoors and seeing underwater footage and just wildlife in general and then being able to do that and then go to different locations and on and you know different waterfronts and, and seeing I mean it's, it's, it was this really cool experience.